Hi there, this is Nosity Tarot, and I'm here with a pick a deck rating. The topic for today will be um, singles. Just, uh, you know, situation overview and what we can do to improve this. So, we got three decks. We got deck one, two, and three. You can pause the video, take a moment, and reflect on which might be relevant to you and pick that deck. The timestamps will be in the description box below. And uh, I'm going to start with deck one. So, deck one's people. This is for singles. Um, what's the situation with you? What's going on in this uh, search you're having? <laughs> search you're having. Search you're going through. Okay, this is your situation. This is your challenge. This is what you're overlooking. And this is your advice. What can I show you? Let's see. Okay, challenges looks like communication is not the most, uh, what's the word? Um, articulate maybe you might be more of um you might have somebody you might be somebody who has difficulty expressing how you feel um, in words not necessarily like you're not in touch with your feelings it's just you might have difficulty trying to put them into words uh, the current situation though we've got is um, you're trying to go into this not being too uh, having too many great expectations you're trying not to let yourself um, get too invested. Uh, you're trying to be very practical when it comes to your partner search. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't want to be too, too rational though when it comes to emotions. Oops, sorry. Um, you don't want to be too rational when it comes to your emotions. Uh, this looks like somebody who's definitely going out for the kill though. Like, it looks like it, you are on your way to try and get a relationship to marriage. You're not really interested in playing around anymore. You're, you're ready for it, you know. You're, you're ready to find that person and then make that commitment and get your life started. I kind of sense for some of you there's a delay. Like a delay, like a late bloomer, failure to launch, that sort of thing. Um, you might have had some other priorities before this. In some cases, maybe you were very career-oriented and didn't want to go straight to the marriage thing. Um, I'm, I'm getting a sense, though, that you, you're coming into this with a certain level of maturity and understanding. However, I see with the Page of Cups that maybe your experience level isn't that great. When it comes to dating or interpersonal relationships, you might have trouble there. You may have trouble talking with people or figuring out what to say or figuring out what to talk about. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. You're definitely in the right mindset, though. You know, it's not too much, not too little. Justice card is perfect that way. Um, but with the Page of Cups, I'm seeing some difficulty with <sighs> expressing your feelings. And, you know, maybe that's a tough thing for you is getting to that stage where you can express your feelings. Um, or maybe that's, you know, something that you've always been working on is trying to keep someone around at the same time while being trying not to reveal that more vulnerable side of yourself. Can we clarify the Page of Cups, please? Hey, yeah, guys, that's totally the problem here. I love it when things kind of add up like that. We have the Ace of Swords. This is somebody who gets caught up in miscommunications a lot. You might say things that you don't mean in that way and people will take it and latch onto it and just go nuts over it. And then, you know, that person may just storm off or something like that. You might have had uh, instances with that in the past with friends. You know, maybe this is just your social thing is you just can't seem to get the thought you want to get across in a way that doesn't offend people because you mean no harm by it it's just maybe you speak in a very in a very like mm, you know like I have an idea I'm going to tell you about it um and uh or, or like you know it, you know maybe that's the confusion here too 
maybe you're very easy. You could talk about a lot of other stuff, but when it comes to your feelings, it's like you draw a blank. You're not really sure what's a cliche, what's embarrassing, what is too much information, when it's the right time to say it, that sort of thing. And I think that that's your biggest challenge is getting over those mental hurdles of expectations of what, what people usually do and what am I doing and how am I doing this. Um, and that's, that's the obstacle that we're seeing here. That's the main challenge. So for things that you're overlooking, <laughs> Ace of Cups, what are you overlooking right now? Well, there's two things. Three things. For those of you that are not in touch with your feelings, you could A, already have somebody on your mind, B, someone already has you on their mind, or C, um, you're, you're, you're overlooking your own feelings, which basically could come back to you already have someone in mind. Um, or you have like, like, a, like a, a tickle, like an idea about somebody who has some sort of interest in you and you're not really, you're not really there, you know? So let's see here. Clarify that Ace of Cups, though, please, for what they're overlooking. The Chariots. Ah, yeah, you're overlooking some sort of thing. Like, you might have some sort of feelings um, for someone that you like already. That might actually be pretty easy for you. So maybe this is like a friend or something. That I mean, Because I'm thinking, like, why would you overlook it unless you already had feelings for this person in the first place, but you weren't sure if they were romantic. That's why I'm thinking that maybe it's a friend. But what I'm seeing with the chariot is you're overlooking this ability to, that, that maybe, and again, this could be somebody that is coming at you. That is like, bam, hi, I'm here. Are you looking for someone? Because I'm interested. This person could be coming in like, bam, like really, really strongly. Um, but also this is talking about even if this person is not coming in strongly. And this is, this is somebody that you know about or you had a hunch about, but we're not really totally sure about um and that's what you're overlooking is somebody has already come to you full force like that you know and maybe you didn't notice it another thing is that you need to approach what you want at like this this is what you're overlooking is your ability to go and conquer to seize what it is that you want you know and I, can, I think that's what I'm seeing here with, you know, this chariot card, strength card. Let's see, is your advice. Strength card is about a balance, a healthy balance. And I think you appreciate that, to be honest. They, that's the head, that's the mind space that you're going into when it comes to this. The strength card here is also talking about that healthy balance. Not too much of everything. This is better for like relationships and, emo and you know, your, your thoughts. This is better like you'll have a better chance at finding someone if you can balance work and play. If you can balance garbage eating and not garbage eating. So it's like if some of these, if some, some maybe some of your hangups with dating could have something to do with food. Uh, but this is saying that if you keep it balanced, uh, like maybe you don't want to go out and eat so often and that's why that's why you don't want to, maybe that's what's holding you back from going on as many dates as you want is because you're like, man, I've had like five dates this week and now I'm, you know, 100 pounds heavier. I can't, can't live like this. Um, and, and honestly, if that's the case, that might be correct. You might already be doing the right thing, um, doing the correct thing and balancing these out. But uh, you could also... Look for other places to, to go besides places that have food. Clarify the strength card. Three of so or three of um three of pentacles. Advice for this to help you. Maybe you want to try um if you guys have had trouble uh, doing the date thing because of this, maybe try bringing a friend or bringing another party along and having them be your wingman. Get a wingman <laughs> um, just to make you comfortable. And here's the thing. If you're like, I don't need a wingman. I mean, if I have a wingman, it's going to look embarrassing. It's a third wheel. Um, but you need a wingman. Uh, you could always just say, oh, you know, if you're female, at least you could be like, oh, it's a security thing. I don't want to go out and like meet with some dude. You know, you never know who you'll meet, even though this person could be completely safe. Um, 
you can always just say that you travel in a group because it's a security thing, not that you need somebody to kind of like, you know, make the situation less tense. <laughs> so I think that could be what we're saying here, seeing here. Um, one more card for advice, please. Page of Swords. Hey, you've got a friend, <laughs> a younger friend or, or a friend that is your age and you're both young. Um, this Page of Swords is saying that this is somebody that you might want to bring along that's better with words, perhaps, than the Page of Cups. Like, these are buddies. Like, look, whoever your buddy is, take them with you. Um, the one that talks the most. In fact, if you're an introvert, bring the one that talks the most. They're your friend. They're the one who gets you to socialize. There's always an introvert who has a friend who does that. You need to bring that friend with you. And, of course, one that, you're that you can trust that's not going to, like, run off and, like, steal this person and be like oh they're mine now because i'm so charismatic uh -huh. you know don't um don't bring that person <laughs> bring the person that that wants you to get uh to get this relationship off the ground so yeah have a wingman so if uh you take my advice what's i don't like to give time frames but i'm doing it for the, this video and the last one i did too and um, just because some people want time frames. Just know these are going to be vague. I'm going to try to make these vague time frames. I cannot give you July 4th. I cannot give you even June or August. You know, I try not to because the more specific these get, the less they're going to resonate with other people because time is fluid. The future is uncertain. You make choices that ruin it. <laughs> and especially when I tell you when the date and time are. So do not hold this date. Just use it as a, oh, that'll be nice. If it comes sooner, that's better. You know, don't, if you see somebody, you know, if, if things start to turn out better sooner, take it. Don't wait for the deadline. Okay. The, the deadline is stupid, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> I have to give these, this disclaimer because people take fortune telling and future telling way too seriously considering that time is fluid and your choices and free will change everything. So Given this, if the outcome is, is uh, you know, as such, or as the, uh, I'm sorry, the vice is taken as such, what is the vaguest, most likely time frame for group one's love life to turn uh, up for the better? Queen of Swords. We could be looking at winter. We could be looking at... Um, You could be looking at October or September vaguely, like those two months, possibly. Um, what do I got here? Nine of wands. Nine months. Nine months-ish. I'm thinking with these two time frames here. Nine months. Um... I don't usually, nine weeks? No, I wouldn't say it's weeks. I don't usually use these as weeks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nine, nine months, nine weeks maybe. Any other ideas? Seeing another winter card again. Got the eight. But you know, nine is September. Again, 9 of September, Queen of Swords is a Libra. That's September, October. Um, 8 of Swords is, uh, you know, you're going into August at that point. 7 of Swords is July. Whatever it is, I, I'm seeing, like, if you want to, like, a vague, 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 vague one here, I would say anywhere between July and November. Late July, though. I don't think... Yeah, like late July to November. So the, la the last half of the year, roughly. So, yeah. If it happens sooner, though, sooner is better. But this is just kind of a vagueness here. So don't, don't take it too seriously if that's too long. If that seems about right for you to get your bearings, that makes sense. Okay? Alrighty. Thanks for watching, Group 1. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if that made sense to you, and I'll see you in the next one. For those of you who picked group two, this is your reading. Excuse my hiccups.
What's your situation, group two? What's your situation, group two? What are your challenges? What is your, what are you overlooking? And what's your, okay, let's take it. What's your advice? Oh, okay, interesting. People for advice. What am I seeing? So your current situation is, um, looks kind of like some preparation here, some sort of choice that you're getting ready to make, perhaps. Um, you're kind of looking at your options, but it's like, maybe you have two offers and you're kind of like, oh, do I go with that guy or do I go with that guy or girl or girl, you know? Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing with this. And I'm seeing people over here. So it's possible that you have more than one option that you would like to go for. Um, you're the single person that's kind of like, you know, single temporarily. I feel like that for some people, single is like a chronic condition. I feel like for you, single is like a happy opportunity and you get to kind of like weave in and out of being with people, you know, because you're not, you're not concerned about getting another person. I don't think there's any worry here, especially here. Um, although this is your obstacles here. Obstacle here as an obstacle or a challenge, challenge for you. Ah, it's an interesting, can I see a clarifier for this card? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm not sure how to see this as an obstacle, but do you have a lot of money? <laughs> and that's the obstacle? Like, are you worried that people might be buying? Maybe you're worried people are going, going to come after you for your what you have, your wealth. Um, this is weird because we've got... These two cards are very much talking about personal wealth and what you have and um, prosperity. Are you too prosperous? I'm, I mean, I'm just curious. I'm curious. Can I see um, a clarify card for these two? Is, is this person too prosperous? <laughs> or again, you know, maybe this is just saying too much overabundance. Maybe you have an overabundance of something. Mm, tell me more about the quantities that are a problem. We have the Six of Swords. Mm. You have a lot of something and you want to get rid of it. Um, one second. One second, one second. What is this? What is this? Clarify this second column, please. We have another boat. Why is your challenge is weird, group two? Your challenge is like fortune or something. It's like you're trying to get away from your abundance or something, or <laughs> I don't want to say you have a lack of abundance because I really don't sense that here. Stars, what the heck? Do you have big goals? Do you have big dreams? Group two. I wonder if that might be what this is. Maybe your dreams and your aspirations um, to gain, you know, a lot in life are holding you back from meeting people or holding you back from wanting, you know, to date or something. You may have really big, big plans for yourself and you don't want to get that. Um, you don't want to mess it up. Maybe you have plans to leave too, because I'm getting that too. I'm wondering, you know, you, this shows me some fears or concerns about a, tra a trip. Maybe, maybe nobody knows about it yet. Or, you know, if you have someone who you have your eye on, perhaps already, you're afraid that 
Um, you'll have to tell them some bad news about you leaving. You're going to be leaving somewhere. And then we got the book, and that's a secret. We got the snake here. So it's almost like you're holding back on telling somebody the truth here about something that you have a goal in mind. You have some place you want to be. You have something that you want to do. and But you also want to be with that person. You want to be with someone else. But at the same time, you got this secret about leaving possibly and you don't want to hurt this whoever it is, whoever these people are. And this is probably the choice that you have to make is between this happily, happily ever after for yourself or happily ever after with them. But at the cost of whatever it is that you want to do here. So that's your challenge is being upfront and honest about what the what this person what you want to tell this person. Upfront and honest about what type of relationship you want. See, that's what I think. Yeah. I think you're an interesting group group uh, interesting pile group too. Um, remember I said I think that you kind of you you're confident enough that you can kind of weave in and out of, of relationships you you have good self-esteem I want to say but you have a lot of uh, hang-ups about what you're gonna do with your with yourself um, regarding the person that you're interested in you know you don't want to be you don't want to lead them on and then just be like Aha, I'm going now bye um, but that's kind of what I'm seeing interesting so you don't want to lead someone on I want to say because I was gonna I was gonna be like this this looks pretty good guys what is this but no it's it's possible that you are off to go do some bigger better things or live in a way that you you've always wanted to live and you can't stick around um, so what is it that you don't see we have a student we have a child we have um, somebody who is I don't know. I want to say that this might be somebody, this could be, if you have someone in mind, this could be somebody that is more understanding than you thought, um, than you anticipated. Maybe they won't be so mad or be so upset if you talk to them. Can we clarify what group two is overlooking? Ah, see another person here. Super interesting. Two younger people. We have a page of cups. We have a page of coins. I mean, if you have to go away to school or, or leave or something like that. Oh, wow, they have a lot of these. I'm like, that's too many. Um, but if you, have a, if you have someone in mind and you have to go away to school, I think this person may be more understanding and willing to work with you than you thought. Um, also, if you're choosing between um, one person or the other, this may be saying that something that you're overlooking is another person. There might be a third. There might be a third. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, can I clarify these with what this person is overlooking? What is group two overlooking that could benefit them? You know, the Nine of Wands is about waiting. There's somebody waiting for you, I think, already. This is what you're overlooking. There's a couple things. There's a couple messages here. One is that there's someone that you're, look, there, that you're not paying attention to. Somebody that's been waiting for you. Another option is that... Uh, one second... There's one other thing. The other thing is that there's more to come. The other thing you're overlooking is this possibility that there are more people to come and that the ones that you're being offered right now are not going to be the ones that you really need to be with. So it could be one of those things. Those are what you're overlooking. Overlooking that there are other things out there. What are they overlooking? Another person. There, it's got to be a person. There's another person that you're not that you're not that you're not seeing. So if it's be one or two, it could be one, two, or three. So it's like you may think that this this could also be saying that there's a third option, a happy medium. 
as well. I won't, so it may not be three people. It may be just one person, the option you're choosing between, and then the compromise in between. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. But I think it is saying that you may be also looking over a logical, you might have to assess this a little bit better. Nine of Swords. Hmm. It's possible that there there could be somebody with, for you when you wherever you go. So if you are leaving and you're looking for some place, I am getting this vibe that there's somebody there on the other side for you to be with when you leave. So that's something that you're overlooking. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be with that person. It's just saying, you know, if you think that these are your only options, that's not the case. You have other options. Those may not be your life partner forever and ever, but it's saying that um, if you're looking to have company, there's going to be company wherever it is that you go. So, <clears throat> but also, you're also overlooking the root of your problem, by the way. There's a bigger, deeper root to the situation where you're choosing. This might be a problem that you got yourself into. If it's not like an obligation for you to leave, um, this might be somebody leaving or something. It, it, it looks like there's a bunch of things going on here. This may be, you might, you might be overlooking, if this is a problem, like a big problem in your life right now or something that's on your mind a fair amount of the time because it's causing you stress is possible you need to look at yourself and how it is that this came to be and maybe you might have to assume some responsibility for this situation whether it's how you react or the plans you make or the choices you make or something like that i get the sense with this this is saying that you um you may be overlooking what it really is that's causing you your trouble. And that's something that I can't tell you because this is a general reading, so I can't tell you because it'll get mushy and confusing. But, and it's already mushy and confusing, but um, yeah, that's what you're overlooking too. So there's there could be other people. There could be somebody on the other side, wherever you're headed. This could also be showing you that you may not have learned this. Another one of this one is you may not have learned from your mistakes. And these two cards are about naivete. So you may need to be more discerning with how you, um, how you conduct yourself. There may be some things that you're not looking that may have got you in a sticky situation. So what's the advice? Be adventurous. Um, go in and get it. Whatever it is that you want, go in and get it. Seize the day. If you have something that you want, go and freaking get it. Do it fast, because it seems like time might be of the essence. You got the Page of Wands with the kitty. Does he have a kitty armor? He's got kitty armor. Look at that. I have. That's not relevant at all. I just, I really... I really need to pet a cat right now. I, it's been months. <laughs> it's been months since I've pet somebody's cat. I haven't been to a house with a cat. I miss cats. Anyway, okay, hang on. Let me let me collect myself. Anyway, what's the advice? Shoop. Mmm, give to receive. Whoops. You may need to give to receive. Generosity. You know, if you've been holding back on people, don't. Give everything you can give that you think is worth giving. Um, if you got emotions, tell them. If you want to hug someone, hug them. Life is short. Do not waste time, you know, fretting over things. If you got people that you need to talk to, talk to them. If you got to make amends with someone, make amends. 
Um, you do not want to leave anyone on bad terms. If there's anyone here that you got on bad terms, you just be upfront with people. I don't know if there's anybody that would prefer somebody mysteriously just leave than, you know, I, I don't think there's anybody that would prefer somebody just leaves before telling them over, over you know, hearing some bad news that they're leaving. Like, I, I just, you got to be upfront with people. You got to talk to people. Clarify the advice. Yes, communicate. Communicate and do it now. This isn't just the, this isn't just now. It's right now. Do it. Do you need to tell somebody something and you know you do not have a lot of time? You need to do it. You need to do it now. This is your symbol. This is your sign. It doesn't mean you have to be with this person forever, but if you're holding back on telling somebody the truth, you need to deliver the truth. And you need to deliver it soon. Otherwise, you're going to ruin something. Okay? If you know in the end this person is, 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 if there's a person involved, and I really think that there is a person on your mind, you need to tell them the truth, and you need to do it fast before things change and you lose your opportunity. All right? Um... I'm not going to do a time frame with this one because I don't. I think you have your own time frame set, and I'm not going to meddle in that. So, that is your reading group two. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if that resonates, and I'll see you in the next one. Lastly, we got group three. Teramuka, that's you. All right, Teramuka people, what's your romantic situation as a single person? Challenges. What's next? What's after challenges? Oh, yeah. What are you? Oh, what's that? Who are you? Oh, you're lame. I hate this one. <laughs> I'll never, I will never let the page of pentacles be my flipper. That card haunts me. I hate it. Um, we're looking at things that you're overlooking. Probably the page of pentacles is what you're overlooking because I'm overlooking it. Advice. What's the advice for you, group three? Yikes, yikes, yikes. What's going on here? Okay. Your current situation is you're leaving. You are single, newly single perhaps, and you are leaving that situation or you have left it and you are on the path to recovery and maybe you're interested in dating. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's possibly what we're looking at here. Uh, your challenges at the moment appear to be a situation where you may feel a little bit stuck. Like you haven't really figured out, like you got out of this, but now you're not really sure what to do. Let me clarify the three of wands, please. That's too many cards. Clarify the three of wands, please. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this can also talk about being stuck. Um, you might have ended the thing and now you're not really sure what to do. Or maybe you're only halfway out of this relationship and you still don't know what to do. Maybe it's kind of sitting, hanging around and it's cramping your style and you're not a, really thrilled with it. Um, can we clarify this one more time? Mm, okay, seven of swords. Yeah, I feel like you are, you have like emotionally left a situation. Either you're still in this situation and you're mentally and emotionally single, but still in a relationship with someone else. Or it's possible that you have left this situation, but you might still be hanging around and thinking about the other person, this person that you've left. I feel like you could be still hung up on an ex or something like that. Um, perhaps you're still stalking this person, you know, online. You might be looking at their stuff. You might be looking for their things. Um, you might be trying to get something out of it, even though the situation is either, like, at a dead halt or it's, you know, you know, at least very much stalled. But you are trying to get away from it. You are trying to heal emotionally here. Um, I need more clarification on the Six of Swords because this seems kind of strange for me. One more card for Six of Swords, please. 
Okay, I do think it is a person. This is a very fiery person, too. This is somebody that really, you know, might be kind of passionate for you. Also, though, this could also be showing that you may want to be in this mode where you're kind of like, well, you know what? I'm single now. I'm going to go and I'm going to have some fun, basically. I'm going to go and date who I want to date and do what I want to do. Um, and that could be what we're seeing here, and you needed that. Maybe you needed this reprieve from whatever you're left from. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what it is. That, or you might have left somebody that was vaguely abusive, like physically. Or just somebody that's immature. <laughs> but I do have this page energy here, so... I do sense that you're out trying to get out in the world, trying to explore your options, see the things that you never got to see before, and kind of just live your life. That kind of looks like what you're doing. The obstacles, though, like I said, it's like you're kind of stuck. It's like you might have, like, stepped out the door, and now you're like, okay, well, what now? Because that's sort of what I'm seeing with this what now three of, of wands, especially with the, especially with the, um, oh, what's this thing called? The death card. So I'm feeling the death card is here sort of like saying that it's kind of like that, oh, what now? Or, oh, my God, things have changed a lot since I was dating last, you know, for some of you, for some of you. Um, and you may actually be having to do some research, like what apps are people using now? Do, I wasn't using apps when I dated last. And what's Tinder? And I kind of feel like that might be what you're kind of going through right now or like maybe looking at things like what lingo are the kids using these days <laughs> you know for some of you that are really kind of out of touch you might be really out of touch um so what what's the what's benefiting you that you're overlooking right now seven of wands Ooh, ooh, what are you overlooking you are much sexier than you thought you were you are much sexier than you thought you were you are much more desirable than you thought you were um, and I think that you're not really, I mean, it's like, I feel like it's like you've got all the competition against you for in this, in whatever group it is that you're competing against for whoever. And, um, you have a lot more working for you than you thought. Like you might've, maybe you're older and you're like, I'm fat and lazy looking. Oh my God. No one's going to want to date me. Um, and I think this is saying that you're up against yourself and that's really all that you're up against. And you need to look and see that you're actually not that bad. <laughs> I don't know what you look like, but I'm sure you're not that bad. Tarot doesn't think you're that bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a secret sort of um, sexy alluringness of you with this uh, this moon card. There's like a mystery to you that people might like. A nice darkness to you. Um, but in a mysterious way, not necessarily like, you know, Son of Sam kind of way, but like a mysterious way. But yeah, there's something that you're overlooking. There's secret aspects of yourself you haven't discovered yet. Or maybe the secret aspects of yourself you had forgotten. But there's like, yeah, yeah, there's a very, okay, you are forgetting. So I really sense that this is someone who hasn't been dating for a while. You are forgetting how charming and seductive you are and how charming and seductive you were. And it's still there. You just, it might be rusty. So if it's been a couple years and you're thinking, man, there's no way I can get back out there. You know, I'm old, man. It's, it's hard. <laughs> I'm speaking from my, my, my perspective of 32. <laughs> so I don't actually know what it's like to be any older than that. Surprisingly, right? No. Um, but yeah, there's something about you that is incredibly seductive and charming and fun-loving. And there's like a really enjoyable person deep down under the, bitter, the bitterness of time. <laughs> Um, you're an attractive person and you're very, um, like I said, mysterious and sexy. So there, this card is saying that you're overlooking this quality of yourself, that you are actually very sociable. You're very charismatic. You're very enjoyable to be around. 
There's something about you. It's just, you've forgotten it. And I think that's what this is here. Uh, you forgot who you were. Or you forgot what you were capable of with this one, too. Um, so if there's any doubts with you, with being out of touch or being rusty or not really knowing where you're going, just realize that at the heart of you, you may have forgotten about this part of yourself, but now's the time to re, you know, now's the time to rediscover it. But this is what you're overlooking. You have this aspect of yourself in you. You just kind of need to get back in touch with it. Um, good ways to do that is buy yourself something sexy, damn. Like, damn it. Like, just like go, go and, um... You know, like, buy lingerie. If you're a man, buy lingerie. Or buy a really nice fitting suit. Or something like that. Like, um, like, you know, just something nice for yourself. Dress it up. I think that, um, once you go out and you're, like, by yourself. And you're buying something for you to make you feel like you. You'll find yourself again. You know, if you try to get the haircut you wanted to get. Wear the clothes that you wanted to wear. Do the things you wanted to do and kind of like get get in touch with yourself again So if you're somebody who is just out of this and you know You, you want to date but because you, you don't want to be alone, but at the time time you got to get to know yourself again first and Then go and get to know other people And I think that's kind of where where this is going with this as for advice. We got the Eight, uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles, which again can be talking about money, can be talking about managing your time better. Maybe you're super busy and you're not allowing yourself enough time to go and enjoy your life. Yeah, this is saying that you're gonna have you have opportunities at your disposal. You need to do, go and grab them. Basically, that's what that's saying. Just go and grab them. There's a lot of a lot of passionate, sexy people out there. And you can go and have any one of them despite what you think about yourself. Ah. Advice. Make those connections. Go on a trip even and try to find somebody. Treat yourself. Do something really great for yourself. Go and... Um, you know, throw a party or go to a party or um, there's all this excitement in these cards. You you have a whole lot of living to do. I really sense that maybe you didn't get enough of that. You have a lot of living to do. Making up for lost time is kind of what I'm seeing because a lot of this is like you kind of know that you have to make up for lost time. You want to live your life, right? But you kind of feel like it's already over, but it's not. You only think it is. And that's what you're overlooking is there's still a lot of enjoyment left in your life, you know? You, For some of you, you guys may have met somebody, got married, had kids, or didn't have kids, and then left, and now you're like, well, maybe I wanted kids, and, you know, maybe I didn't want to spend all this time married to this person, but maybe I want to get married again. It's still possible. Anything is possible. The more time you waste thinking about it, though, the more time... You don't have to do those things. You really are losing time if you do that. So, really, you need that carpe diem sort of like, uh, like energy in you. This is this is carpe diem. This is carpe diem. Seize the day. This wand is here. It's gonna challenge you with like, you know, new activities, exciting activities. It's gonna give you new exciting energy. But you have to. And it could give you new exciting people to meet. But you have to grab the wand. <laughs> the wand is being given to this person. It's coming out of the air and it's getting into their hand. It's, it's being gifted. It's a new amazing idea, a new amazing opportunity. But you just have to seize it. And stop working so much. <laughs> if you're just working to pass the time, you don't need the money and you're just bored, stop it. Go do something else. <laughs> and this one too. Go travel. Go see the world. Or go to a party or try something new or or better yet if you could try on a whole new identity if you want to if you didn't like who you were you don't have to be that person you can try on a whole new identity it's still going to be you because you're the one controlling it so you don't have to feel like you're being fake you're just being a version of yourself you didn't get to try on recently so you can do that so if you were thinking like yeah i do want to buy that cool looking whatever that is you can still do that that's still you. 
you are you. You are in your skin. So if you want to buy a weird thing you've never tried before, do it. If you want to be a person that you've never been before, try it. Well, unless it's unless you want to be like a like a like a hitman, don't don't do that. But if you want to be like you know a new sexier version of yourself, it's a total opportunity for you to take. And and there's no shame in that. No shame in trying to be somebody different ever. Unless it's a hitman, you know, and just got to put that in there. Just you never know. Somebody's going to be like, well, I want to be a drug lord. <laughs> Please don't do that. Um, but yeah, so that was your reading group three. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if that resonates and bye now.